Hello pilots, this is Jonathan from Skylink, and today we'll be showing you how to capture a CAD flight plan within the DJI Flight app. So the first thing we're going to want to do is climb our aircraft and survey the area around our target building, which would be this IKEA right here. If we look off in the distance there, the trees aren't too much taller than the building, and most of our flights, or all of our flights rather, will be at a pretty decent height above them. The first thing we're going to want to do is take our aircraft, find a safe spot next to the building, then position ourselves looking at the side, down to check a little bit, and then we're going to want to descend until we're about perpendicular with the tallest part of the building, which would be the side right here, which is about 48 or 50 feet, rather. This will be important when we're setting up our orbit plan, as the orbit plan will be 100 feet above the top of the roof. So 100 feet, 50, would make that 150 feet. So the next thing we want to do is we'll start with our map first. So we'll close that, come to our flight route, come to our map. So when you're setting this up, you want to give yourself enough breathing room around the outside of the building so that the flight plan touches each end, gets a good amount of space in the middle, and goes a bit off to the sides as well to make sure that we're not missing any part of the building. When we'll go to our settings, make sure we have the correct camera set up we're using an M3E this time. Our root altitude will be at 300 feet. We want to have our speed at 12 miles per hour. Go to our advanced settings. We want our side overlap to be at 80 and 80 for the front and side. And then just make sure that our flight lines are you know, roughly parallel to the building itself. You don't want anything too jagged or diagonal or anything like that. So once we have all of that set up, we can save our mission. Climb up a bit and then we can start our mission. Alrighty. Once the first map mission is complete, you can go ahead and pause that to make sure it doesn't end up returning to home before you're ready. The next part of the mission we can go ahead and capture will be the orbit around the outside of the building. As you recall, the building is 50 feet tall, and the orbits are supposed to be 100 feet above the roof. So that would put us at an altitude of 150 feet. So we can close this. Stop our flight route, hit confirm. Now one method that we can do, because there's two methods you can go over, the first one would be creating a waypoint mission, having it set around the perimeter of the building. You can go into our settings here, go to add pinpoint on map, make sure you have all of this set correctly, have our speed set to about 11 or 12 miles an hour, we want to change our altitudes to match this. So we have the follow flight route for speed. The relative altitude be at about 200. We could change that to 150. And we'll do the same for the rest of these. Mm -hmm. 
Mặt lạc được không So once we have the outside of this laid out, we can go ahead and tap this arrow here. We're going to make sure we have our settings set, have the waypoint mission labeled. For this case, we got Kia test. We're using the M3E. Make sure we have relative takeoff point. We can keep our speed probably about 10 miles an hour here since we're going to be wanting to get very clear shots of the sides of the building. Hit save for that. Relative of 200. Want to have your aircraft set to manualing for the yaw as well as manual gimbal control and then a straight route for the aircraft. This will make sure that the aircraft stays flying in the same direction you want it to while you're still able to control the camera. And all you'll have to do once it does stop at a waypoint is simply turn the camera during that stop so that it lines up with the side of the building that you're facing. Then we can go down into our waypoints here at the bottom. What we will want to do is make sure we have our flight route speed set correctly. But for relative altitude, we can go ahead and change that to the altitude that we want to target to be 150, maybe 145. Just have a good angle of it. And we'll do this for all of the um, waypoints. One thing to keep in mind for some of the more difficult locations is there will be times when the building is at a lower height, and as such, your the actual missions will be at a lower height, at least the orbit mission will be. So you'll want to keep in mind that sometimes there will be trees that will get in the way of your flight. And a secondary method to get around this, instead of using you know an automated waypoint mission that might not have as good of a perspective as you would like to have while you're flying, we need to fly the aircraft manually. Now, this manual flying can be done simply by coming up here, scrolling down, where you have your gain and expo tuning. And for the max horizontal speed, you can cap your actual max speed of the aircraft to be able to full stick in either direction, and it'll stay at a maximum speed. So when you're flying this normally, it would be 10 miles per hour. You can then just go on to touching and then selecting the timed interval shoot from your actual photo sections here in the just above the photo screen. And this will allow you to manually fly around the building at a max speed, still capturing every two seconds, but will allow you much greater control and safety. Keep track of any obstacles that might be in the way that you would otherwise not want to have to deal with while you're flying with an automated mission. Once we have both the map mission and the orbit missions carefully completed, we can climb our aircraft to 150 feet and then fly to the center of the building. Here we'll be grabbing our eight oblique photos of the building roof in all eight cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, and all the sections in between. We want to make sure we have a good view of the entire building. We don't want to have any horizon view in the shot, so something that looks about like this.
Hello Pilots, this is Jonathan from Skylink, and we'll be showing you the second variant of capturing a TAD flight mission, but this time we'll be using Drone Deploy. So the first thing we'll want to do is we have our aircraft all set up, we'll exit the DJI flight app, we'll make sure we have that closed so it doesn't interfere with the Drone Deploy app. We will come into our Drone Deploy app. Make sure the aircraft fully connects. We can go to our test mission. Similar to how we've set up it, set up the uh, mission on the DJI flight app, we want to make sure that we have a generous box around the building so the aircraft is able to capture every point of it, have the lines that with the, the edge of the building as well. However, Drone Deploy app, we are able to have a perimeter orbit fly around at the end of the mapping mission. Come and see that here. Make sure our altitude is set correctly at 300. Come to our advanced settings. You want to set off automatic settings. So then you can set your front and side overlap to 80 and 80. You can set our speed 13 miles an hour works here. Make sure our gimbal angle is correct. We want to set our perimeter 3D here. We do not want to use crosshatch, as that is unnecessary. So once we have all of that set, we can just tab back and hit start pre-flight checklist. Once that's all set, we can go to our screen here and we can start our flight. Hello pilots, this is Jonathan from Skylink and we'll be following up on your CAD mission flight showing you how to upload the data you have now captured. The first thing we'll want to do is to come back to our mission page on a desktop version and we will click Upload, New Upload, Choose Files, either do it this way or just come down to your, come down to your file explorer, grab the photos that you've captured and just drag everything over like so. Once those two are dropped in, it will just automatically populate as two different map plans. So the first one in red there, that will be for the DJI flight app. And the second one in yellow will be for the drone deploy mission. Just go ahead and rename those. And once you have everything renamed and relabeled, then all you need to do is hit start upload and you're good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you.